for many of us, as much as we try otherwise, there's going to be an occasional trip where for one reason or another, the fish just don't jump on your hook with every cast. There are literally thousands of products on the market guaranteed to catch fish. Some do, and many of them just catch fishermen. Here, fish. Come here, fish. I need 20 bucks. I got a wooden pot. In reality, fishing is probably a combination of science, skill, art, and a little bit of luck. There are times, you know, weather and barome barometric pressure changing um, can turn it off and turn it on. Um, sometimes the tide's too high, sometimes the tide's too low. You can wait it out. That's the one thing to do. And, and, you know, it's nothing worse than going out in the morning and you get out there and it's like this and somewhere offshore, rather than blue sky, you got this black line moving towards you. You know, you know you're not, it's not worth waiting out. Um, some days you really just have to call it quits and go home. Um, but the trick is don't exhaust your possibilities. You know, everybody's got a few of their favorite baits that they like. I mean, we all have certain things that we think produce more fish than others. Um, I, I think people sometimes give up too early. Mm -hmm. I think they quit before it's time to quit. So many factors come into play like weather conditions and sea state, water clarity and water temperature, tide and current conditions, and the phase of the sun and the moon, and many more. And if one or several of these factors are out of whack, then you can quickly find out why they call it fishing and not catching. But don't be too quick to put the cart ahead of the horse. Whether you're gonna be fishing by yourself, with your family, or with a group of buddies, there are a few things to consider before you head out on the water. Now this section deals with some of the things you ought to know and do prior to putting your boat in the water. Even if you don't own a boat and you're making the trip on a buddy's boat or you're chartering a boat, the information in this section will help you in planning your next fishing trip. Hi, I'm Captain Mac Farr. I've been fishing most all of my life and running charter operations for over 20 years. And I can tell you that one of the keys to any successful fishing trip is good preparation. In planning your trip, you can increase your chances for success if you'll just do a little homework ahead of time. First, do you know what species are typically in the area during that time of year 